Hey there everyone, it's Steve from B&H Photo and I'm here at NAB 2015 with 4A. Here's Jay Shin, Vice President of 4A America and we're going to be talking about the new FT1S 4K high speed camera. Jay, thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you Steve very much. Great to see the camera, very exciting. Know about the FT1, 900 frames per second at 4K, blew everybody away. But there's some differences with between that one, which is very large, and we've got the smaller version here. Yeah, the FT1S is designed for uh, more affordable uh, 4K applications. As you mentioned, this goes up to 360 frames per second, and we're finding in a lot of events, uh, that's all that some customers need. Other customers need 900. Yeah. And it's amazing, it does 1080p, and it does 60, 4K. 4K 60p, yep up to 360. That's right. Now, are we recording in the camera? We're not recording in the camera. We have an optical base station. So the connection back to the base station is using a SMPTE fiber connection and the recording is actually done in the base station back at the equipment. So we have really high-end professional applications right. for this camera. And what's what's my distance? How far away from the base station can I get? 1,000 meters. 1,000 meters. Yeah. And for those of us who use miles or feet, so one kilometer, that's about almost a mile. Mm -hmm. So roughly a mile. That's a long distance. Yeah, well you need that in a stadium because you never quite know where the truck is going to be and the camera might be on the opposite end. So you need a long distance. Uh, I know, now I know the FT1's been used in football games and a lot of sporting events. And I sort of see this sort of as maybe almost even as a shoulder mounted ca uh, camera, perhaps at the edge of a boxing ring getting mm -hmm. the high speed, no interpolation on the shot. Is that what 4A that, is thinking? That's uh, very possible in that regard. Depends on the customer application, but that's what we're thinking. Uh, this also has, we, we've been into a lot of events uh, near water or in motorcycle racing where there's a lot of dust. So we've made this much, uh, much more rugged in that regard because it's small and it's gonna be out in remote locations. Right. So weather resistant, dust resistant. Correct. Always nice to have on a piece of camera Absolutely. Equipment, especially when it's mission critical, it can't fail. Now the sensor, a lot of cameras, a lot of 4K cameras out there, no one's hitting, really easily hitting 360. You found the sensor off the side of the street or what? No, 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 this is a proprietary design. We put a lot of investment into the sensor technology because that's a key ingredient and a camera being successful and the customers wanted to adopt that technology. It's 4K global shutter. Correct. Which is really nice, so no more just jello can. That's right, so if you're moving the camera, it's a nice steady flow. Yes, I wouldn't, couldn't imagine jello cam at 360 frames. You don't, you don't frame. want that. No, you, yeah. don't, you don't. And PL mount too, so it takes mm -hmm. cinema lenses. That's right. And what's the size of the sensor? It's a Super 35. Fabulous. Yeah. So it seems like a full system. We have the camera head mm -hmm. and you have the base station. That's all part of the FT1S package. Right. Jay, sounds really exciting it and is. I look forward to seeing a lot more of these out there.